Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular segment uh, CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, CAD is uh, 60 degrees and this segment uh, AD is uh, 7 units and moreover uh, these uh, sides AC and uh, EF are uh, parallel to each other and these uh, sides are represented by y plus uh, 8 and this side uh, ef is represented by y and furthermore uh, this segment uh, cf uh, is 3x uh, minus 3 whereas uh, this segment uh, bf uh, is represented by x uh, plus 2 and now our task is to find the value of uh, x and y as well please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, concepts and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, triangle abc whose angles are 30 degrees 60 degrees and uh, 90 degrees and we call such kind of uh, triangle as uh, 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle. And this uh, 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg. Whereas the side opposite to this uh, longest uh, angle is going to be our longest uh, leg. And in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is twice the smallest leg. If I call the smallest leg as one unit, then the longest leg is going to be two. And this third leg is going to be square root of three. And in general, if the smallest leg is A units, then the longest leg is going to be two times A. And this third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, 3 and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees and we can see in this uh, triangle ADC this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees so therefore this angle ACD is going to be 30 degrees since the sum of all these three angles equals to 180 degrees. And now we can see that this triangle ADC is a special 30, 60, 90 triangle with 30 degrees as the smallest angle and 90 degrees being the largest angle. So therefore, uh, this segment AD is going to be the smallest uh, leg, whereas this uh, segment uh, AC is going to be our longest uh, leg. And we know in a 30, 60, 90 special triangle, the longest uh, leg is twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is uh, seven units, then our this longest leg uh, AC is going to be 14 units. And now we can see our this uh, leg AC is 14 units and moreover this uh, side AC is y plus 8 uh, as well. So therefore I can equate them. I can write uh, y plus uh, 8 equals to 14. Let me subtract uh, 8 from both sides uh, to isolate y and we can see this 8 and negative 8 is gone. So therefore y value turns out to be simply 6 uh, units. So therefore uh, this uh, EF length which is represented by y turns out to be 6 uh, units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two parallel lines uh, AC and uh, EF. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, CAD is going to be congruent to this uh, angle FEB uh, since uh, they are uh, corresponding uh, angles. So therefore, if this angle is 60 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we conclude that uh, this uh, big uh, triangle uh, 
ABC is uh, similar to this uh, smaller triangle uh, EBF according to angle angle similarity theorem since uh, these angles are their uh, corresponding uh, angles and this angle uh, is in common so therefore uh, their side lengths are going to be proportional uh, as well let me go ahead and write down uh, BC divided by BF let me write down BF equals to the ratio of uh, side length uh, AC and uh, the other one is going to be EF in other words the ratio of this whole length uh, BC and this uh, BF is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side AC and uh, this side uh, EF as you can see in this equation and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, BC length is going to be the sum of uh, these two individual lengths uh, CF uh, and then uh, BF so therefore we are going to write down uh, these uh, two lengths uh, let me write down uh, 3x uh, minus 3 plus uh, x uh, plus uh, 2 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 4x uh, minus 1 so therefore our this uh, BC length turns out to be 4x minus 1 and now we can see that our BC length is uh, 4x uh, minus 1 and our uh, BF length uh, is uh, x uh, plus 2 and on this side our AC length uh, is uh, 14 and our EF length uh, is uh, 6 so therefore I can write uh, 4x uh, minus 1 divided by x plus 2 equals to 14 divided by 6 and now we can see 14 divided by 6 could be reduced to 7 divided by 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 14 divided by 6 by 7 divided by 3 over here and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore this is going to give us uh, 12x uh, minus uh, 3 equal to 7x uh, plus uh, 14 let me go ahead and add uh, 3 on both sides this is gone so therefore uh, 12x uh, turns out to be 7x uh, plus uh, 17 and now we are going to subtract 7x uh, from both sides this is gone so therefore we got uh, 5x uh, turns out to be 17 let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate x this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our x value simply turns out to be 17 divided by 5 and in terms of our decimal this x could be written as 3.4 units so thus our x value turns out to be 3.4 units whereas the y value is uh, 6 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye